Hi, my name is Ran and I'm here to show you how easy it is to handle the T-Rex lens system. Normally, it comes in three cases. In the three cases, we can find the T-Rex main body, the right support, boroscope, and the T-Rex lens set. The T-Rex comes with a peel mount and can be exchanged in a rental house into, for example, a BNCR mount or a video camera mount. At the front, we have the T-Rex mount to take the T-Rex lenses. The T-Rex comes with a set of prime lenses that can range from fisheye to 125mm. All lenses are still lenses and made by different manufacturers, for example, Canon, Lights, Nikon, Zeiss, etc., and have been converted by PNS Technic to fit the T-Rex lens system. Before we come to mount the lens, we need to use the long base plate and the long bars. You put a T-Rex lens system on just like any other lens. Bear in mind, it's quite a heavy lens, so you might need two people to handle it. Lens support. And don't forget to make sure the camera is balanced. Unlock the swivel, rotate, and lens cap off. Lock the tilt, lock the swivel, and now we're ready to put the lens on. The T-Rex lenses have no iris control on them. Some might have focus control and they should always be set to infinity. The iris and focus control are done from this part of the lens. The T-Rex is a real T7.1 and you can close it down to 64. The focus scale here is measured 1 to 10, but it doesn't correspond to meters or feet. It's eye focus only, and it runs between infinity and macro. You also have a zoom control. The zoom control allows you to zoom in and out without affecting your depth of field. When you set the zoom to mark number five, it will give you the perspective of the real focal length of the lens you have at the front. We can swivel the lens. We can tilt. and rotate. We have an image rotation gear that can rotate the image in both directions 360 degrees. This rotation is within the axis of the lens. If you want to use filters with the T-Rex lens system, what you need to do is press and turn this button here and out comes a filter holder. The filter holder takes two round filters and in order to maintain the true focus of the lens, you always need to have two filters or optical flats inside the lens. I always keep the filter slot covered in order to prevent dust from coming in. By the way, if you're shooting CinemaScope, you should know that an anamorphic adapter can be fitted at the rear of the lens and that could be done by the camera rental house. The T-Rex lens system has got two front modules, this periscope multi-directional module and a boroscope module that can be used as a probe lens. In order to exchange between the two, I need to unscrew this module. When exchanging between the periscope and the boroscope mounts, you need to be careful not to allow any dust in. When you're using the boroscope module, the whole lens system becomes 
T5.6 and marked by a separate witness mark on the iris scale. The same lenses that you use on the periscope, you use on the boroscope. Every time you make coffee, you arouse the volcanic aroma. What is it that's making all of this happen? Based on inventions by Wolfgang Rossel of Cinephototech New York and constructions by Wolfgang Feigl of PNS Technik Munich, Rudy Chris in Brussels created further design refinements. And now, some impressive footage provided by our American partner, CPT. De créativité et de passion pour créer avec un amour infini du détail ces délicieux petits chefs-d'œuvre. Les nouveaux pralinés connaisseurs des maîtres chocolatiers de Lindt.